I'm Chef Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Foodell Kitchen. I love eggs. I love to start the day with eggs. Sometimes I end the day with eggs. Sometimes I even have a middle of the day egg just to keep me going. We're going to look today at how to soft boil eggs, hard boiled eggs, and scramble eggs. It's a great way to get a good load of protein and it's also a good way to use up some of the leftovers that are in your refrigerator. I typically boil a lot of eggs at one time. If you're going to do one, you might as well do five or six. I put them in, a, in an empty pan and then I'm going to fill water in the pan, cold water, to about an inch above the eggs. Once you've covered your eggs with about an inch of water, bring the water to a boil over high heat. Once it boils, turn off the heat, cover your pan, and set your timer. It's three minutes for soft boiled eggs or 10 minutes for hard boiled. It's been three minutes, I'm gonna take my one egg out and enjoy that as a soft boiled egg and leave the rest of them in to finish hard cooking. If you find that three minutes makes it a little too hard for your taste, you prefer it runnier, try two and a half the next time. And if you like it even runnier, try two minutes. Mm. This is my favorite way to eat eggs. Scrambled eggs are my favorite way of using up things that are left over in the refrigerator, which is why I always encourage you, if you have just a little bit left of onion or, or shallots or whatever vegetable you might have been using the night before, keep it and throw it in your eggs. I always like to cook my scrambled eggs in a non-stick pan. It just makes life a lot easier. I start with a little olive oil. You can use butter if you prefer or canola oil. Just about half a tablespoon is all. And then you always add your uncooked vegetables first before you add your eggs. So in this case, I've got some nice chopped mushrooms, pretty small, and some shallots. These I used in a salad dressing last night, but I just happen to have some leftovers. Let's add them to the pan. Adding your vegetables first, make sure they get cooked nicely before adding your eggs. Otherwise, you'll end up with some raw vegetables when you eat your eggs. So just a small point, whenever you crack eggs, crack it on a flat surface rather than on the side of your bowl. It tends to crack much more evenly that way. I always like to add a little bit of salt and pepper to my eggs also. Just a little bit. If you're adding salty ingredients like cheese at the end, you don't want them to be too salty. I just give them a little whisk, just enough to break up the yolk. Now that my vegetables are nicely cooked and my onion is soft and my mushrooms are smelling absolutely delicious, I'm just gonna add this directly to the pan. Give it a little stir. The key to making a nice, nice scrambled egg is to not cook it over too high of a heat. Keep it gentle, take a little longer to cook it, and then you won't get that big, uh, that, that hard crust that sometimes develops around the edge of your pan. So just keep the heat low. So if you like adding cheese to your eggs, your scrambled eggs, always add it at the end. Cheese really shouldn't cook, it just needs to melt. This is Asiago cheese that I had grated in the refrigerator, ready to go. You can use cheddar or anything else you like. Stir it in, turn off the heat, taste it, see if it needs a little more salt and pepper, and serve. I strongly encourage you to incorporate eggs into your diet. They're inexpensive and they pack a huge punch as far as protein and vitamins and minerals are concerned. Even if you buy the most expensive eggs out there that are free range, organic, they're high in omega-3s, they're brown, they're orange, they're purple, whatever color you get, they're only about 50 cents each and that's at the highest cost. So two eggs make a meal, put that on your dollar menu. Bon appetit. <laughs>